teachers are looking for ways to set up appointments with parents and students but without having to deal with emails back and forth. Let me show you how to do this very, very easily through Google Calendar. So you're gonna go into your Google Calendar and you're going to select a time space. So what I mean by that is if you want your hours to be between, let's say, eight o'clock and three o'clock, then we're gonna select that time frame. So I'm going to left click and drag down to four o'clock. So it'll go from eight and then three to four. Um, so I'll have that chunk of time that I'll be able to divide up. Now, normally we add a title for this event because the calendar is going to read it as an event. But what you'll notice is that all the way to the right hand side, there is a button that says appointment slots. And appointment slots now can be divvied up into any time amount that you would like. So you can change this time amount to whatever duration you want to split this block of time that you have up into. So from eight to four, I'm going to choose it to make it really easy. I'm going to choose it as 60 minute blocks of time. Now, the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to click on more options down below. And this is going to give me the opportunity to go ahead and give a title to my appointment. So I'm going to title it as open appointment slot. And that way parents going to this calendar know that it is open and they can go ahead and reserve that time with me. And then if I needed to add a description, I could. And now that I have it just for this particular day, I could hit save, but what if I wanted this to repeat? Maybe I wanted it to repeat every single day. Maybe I wanted it to repeat every Tuesday. You have all of those options here and you can make it custom if you want to. So I'm going to make it every single day during the week, Monday through Friday. And then I can hit save. Now, I'm going to do that and you'll see all of the appointments take place. So as the weeks go on, you'll see those appointment slots and you should see the little four boxes into a square. And that's just letting you know that those that's a little icon for slots that appointments can be made. Now let's go ahead and let's go back and click on this appointment slot. Let me edit it for just a second. And it will show you on this main page. This is the calendar's appointment page. So this is the link that you can go ahead and click to go to just the appointment page for this calendar. And this is also the link that you can send out through email to your parents or to your students or post it in your Google Classroom. Another place that you can see it, if I X out of this, is that if you click on this block of time once again, it pops up right here. So we can go to this appointment page for this calendar by clicking this hyperlink. So now that I'm signed in with the same email address, you can see that all of these slots are open. And if someone was going to pick one, they would go ahead and click on it. And then they would be able to rename this as to what they want to do at this appointment, where it needs to be. Maybe we need to put a Google Meet or a Zoom link in there and then a description. And then once they're done, they hit save. So I'm just going to X out of that. Now, what you'll also notice is that my appointments for my normal calendar also show up. No one is going to see my personal calendar appointments. All they're going to see is if a slot was taken or not. And so let me take one of these slots and I'm going to hit save. And what you'll notice is the appointment fills in on my calendar. Now, if I open this up as a different user, let me show you that appointment slot will be taken. And so now I'm signed in with a different email address and you can see that all of the appointment slots for my other account are still there except that one. That one has been taken and it was taken by me but you can see that no one else is able to see what appointment is being taken by who, and no one can see your personal calendar. When I go back to my original calendar, I can get the link once again by clicking here, but also just right clicking 
and then copying the link address. I can then paste it into a new tab or I can go ahead and paste it into Google Classroom in order to give that calendar link out to my students or parents.